Hey Clashers, Maze Bases are back in the clan capital in Clash of Clans and they're super popular again. Bases like these are super annoying to attack and the main reason why I'm doing this video is because I have seen how much people tend to struggle versus those bases. So how can you beat them? You're exactly right in this video. Now we're just taking a look at how we actually beat this base as an example to showcase how you can take them out. As I said, the reason is why I'm doing this video is because I have seen so many people struggle a lot, especially in the lower level. So this guide is not only for Capital Hall level 10 or anything like that. It is for pretty much most of the clan Capital level because everything is based on the jump. The jump spell is such an important spell to take those bases out because your, uh, your rams are not going to work as you might think. And this is something which is really important because a lot of people just think, oh, that's a wall, that's a ram, the ram is going to target the wall, everything is good. This is not how this game works. This is not how the battle ram works. Instead, it's the same thing as in the home village that a wall breaker or a battle ram is going to target a wall. That's, that's correct. But at the same time, there needs to be a couple of other things which need to be true to actually make this happen which means for example this wall needs to be part of a compartment which is in front of or like which is protecting a building like for example the inferno tower or the rocket artillery in this specific example those rams are always going to target those compartments which means if i would have not placed the jump the wall breakers the bell rams would have only followed this pathing in between and would have then tried to get towards those compartments and this would have not worked. I mean, there's a crusher, there's an inferno tower, there's a blast boat, there's a rocket artillery. Those battle rams are not getting anywhere. And with those setups, you can really, really punish casual clans. And this is no joke, but when the battle ram was even weaker, or even weaker is the wrong word since it's quite strong, but in the beginning, when it comes down to the targeting of walls, it was a little bit different in the beginning and back then, some clans really spent an entire raid weekend on one base because they could not take it down. This sounds like I'm just making something up, but no, that's actually true. Some clans really had a lot of problems with taking those maze bases out, and it seems like they're coming back, and this is for a good reason. They are really, really strong if you're facing opponents who have not watched this video or really know how to... Um, approach those bases and how the battle ram works, wall breakers in general. With this being said, it's pretty much the same approach as I've already told you in how to beat every district in the clan capital. Use twice archers to set up a third attack, but it's really important that in the first attack you're using the jump spell to really, really get you into a way, like get you into a position where the defender was not really, like, which the defender did not really expect. That's what I'm trying to say. With us, our example right here, I'm trying to get towards the clan, uh, towards the clan capital as quickly as possible, taking down a couple of key defenses. And from this point on then, it's going to decide what I'm going to use in the third attack. So for us, we have taken down a couple of key defenses. We have taken down the rocket artillery, the clan, the capital peak, the clan capital, uh, the capital hall and then uh, rocket artillery for example couple of air targeting defenses like the air defenses or rapid rockets for example which means this time around it is mainly focused on air which means even though i'm a hawk rider enjoyer it is more important to go with air at this point all i'm trying to do is set up a third attack which is based on air taking down for example the inferno tower taking down for example more rapid rockets, more air defenses, everything which can target air, because on the back end you can see, well, there is a defensive guard post which has a cannon card, which has super giants and a crusher, and there are then another uh, rocket territory. So ground is going to be kind of tricky. Instead, we're going to then go in with air to really make sure that this is going to work. This is always the same setup, twice with archers, can use the jump if I, if I, as I'm showing you right now, if there is a maze base in the third attack, you're going to set something up, which is either air, which I really like to run the 
um, airships like the uh, air fortress or then the field spell with the hog riders those are like the main two options which you're typically going for this example as i'm showing right now we're taking down so much which is targeting air with that being said it is a really easy um decision to make which is just going with air at the same time though um with this setup being made and with not understanding how maze bases work, it is um, still important that you are slowly and that you are really precise in dropping those archers. I have seen a lot of people just spamming them in and really not getting the value with the first two attacks and the jump spell running out because you can see right now the jump spell is not there anymore. It's only there the first two attacks. So if you don't get the value, it is tricky, okay? So you really need to make sure that if you see those rockets flying from rocket um and from blast bows, things like that, make sure that you're dropping your sneaky archers really slowly and look at the splash damage because you need the value. Otherwise, it can get rough. It can get really, really rough. At the same time, though, for us, uh, we have used and invested even a graveyard spell. The main reason why I do that is right now, something which is really, really meta nowadays are Troll Tesla. And those Troll Tesla are a lot of times protected from traps. And since for some reason, this is some, by the way, a nerf which I would really like to see to the graveyard. Um, for some reason, the graveyard can trigger traps. I don't know why, because in the home village, skeletons cannot trigger traps. Have you seen anyone dropping a skeleton spell in the home village to trigger a tornado trap, trigger a, I don't know, defensive skeleton traps, things like that? No, not really, right? So I'm not really understanding why they're changing up the mechanics of, of how things work in those different villages. I'm just confused, especially because it would be a huge nerf. So they could revert a couple of the last nerfs when it comes down to the numbers of skeletons. And you can't just make that they cannot trigger traps anymore. Because, yes, some people might now say, it's you, the battle rams um, are going to trigger the traps anyways. No, not really. You can set up walls, as this base is showcasing so well, to really manipulate how battle rams are pathing. With that being said, you can really make sure, because the battle rams are so predictable, you can really make sure that those um, traps then, like the log traps, the giant bombs, they're all going to hit the super wizards, they're all going to hit the hog riders, so the graveyard spell would be just way, way weaker because they can't trigger the traps. And this is something I'm confused about. That Super Saiyan is not doing that. And before people are saying, it's a, you want to kill the spell or like whatever, this is not what this is not my point. As I said, we've already a couple of the other nerfs. That, that's fine. But the spell triggering traps is strange. But what is strange as well is another maze base. Another maze base which we have right here. Wall breaks are tricky. Well protected typically with like the zap trap that's pretty common in the dragon cliffs. And as I said, those maze bases are working especially good on bases or districts which are forcing the attacker to use archers. So for example, as I said, the capital peak or the dragon cliffs. You can't really use mountain golem or flying fortresses in the first attack into a dragon cliff. At least not if you want to do your client a favor. So with that being said, one of the best things you can do is going in with archers. That means the Dragon Cliffs and the Capital Peak are the two best districts to use those maze bases. And as well, try to find the good position to use the jump. Now there might be some people who are again saying, ah, it's a, just use the better ram there. I will show you in this attack a bit later that those like those wall breaks, those battle rams would not work. Especially because what I said, if there are no buildings behind the wall, this wall is not getting targeted. Briefly said, okay? There's a bit more behind it, but still. With that being said, right now what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to push further into the base, trying to get every single dragon taken care of. Which means, right now, I use this well a graveyard spell onto um, the dragon pose to try it out. I've seen that from some other players, um, but well, I'm just not using the archers quick enough because what you need to have to happen is that a lot of archers are going down at the same time. This would allow a lot of skeletons to spawn and then this guard post would go down. But why would I want to have it going down? That's the question, right? 
The, the answer to this is pretty simple. As the guard post is going down, the troop, which is typically is like connected to, is free. And this troop can path wherever it wants. So we could then lure the super dragon onto a rage, take two camps of sneaky archers and take it down super easily. So as I said, that's typically what you try to do. I mess it up, don't pay attention to that, okay? Instead, we'll just keep going with our archers, really setting up the next attack. And you can see already, the pathing was not expected at all. We have not faced pretty much any traps whatsoever on this on this way, um, which made this push really, really easy. So let's take a look at the next attack then, which just has to follow this up. It has to take down as many super dragons as possible. But remember, in the third attack then, that's where the jump is disappearing. And that's quite important. For us now, Max is doing the next attack and he is coming in with the Sticky Archers again. I'm sorry, I know this is not the craziest and most exciting gameplay, but I'm really trying to show you how to beat those maze bases because I feel like, and I have seen that as well on defense, that some people really struggle against that. And I thought, okay, with sharing this approach and just using the jump in general is not the craziest trick, right? Like, there's not like, oh my, this new flashy trick. Use this and you're always going to beat every bit. No, this is not what I'm trying to show you. It's just like, remember that there's more spells than just the graveyard or the rage in the game. And as I said, with the jump, you can really, really come in from angles, which the defender is not typically um, expecting. For us right now, Max just keep trying to push into this base. Uh, keep trying to take down defenses and buildings in general left and right uh i think yeah like she's just he's uh, he's just keep pushing forward um with the archers he's trying to take down now the super dragons to, to really prepare the next attack at the same time though and this is something which this defender did really really well and i think this is a, as well a really common base uh for the for the dragon cliffs at least at higher levels um this guy has spread out the dragon post so much that it's really hard to reach out of them. So typically what you can do is bring like a, a, a lightning, for example. But because I had to use the jump, that was not possible. So this is like the trade-off which you're doing. But at the same time, so though, he's still trying to push in. Now the question might be, it's so you said in the beginning, this guide is for every clan capital pretty much. Well, this guide is for pretty much every clan capital as soon as you're unlocking the jump. Before that, it gets kind of tricky. But for every district, which is pretty much the majority of districts out there, this is the best approach on how to take down those maze bases and really, really take them down efficiently without having to waste a ton of attacks. Because as I see, as I have said, I have seen a lot of those. I have seen a lot of those. And yeah, for now, let's take a look really at how those battle rams work. So we see now they're targeting the wall because there is a building. Max is taking down the building. Now he's trying to wall break behind with the next uh, with the next uh, battle ram. Take a look at the battle ram. He's placing the battle ram at the top right, but because there is no building behind the wall, the battle ram is going all the way to the other side where there is actually a building behind the wall. And this is how those battle rams work. And this is why it's so important that you're not wasting and saying, oh, I mean, that's a nice wall. I just go into battle ram there twice or th three times and I'm going to be fine. No, those bases are set up that those battle rams don't work, which is a really nice thing from the base player then. But this is why you have to use the jump. This is why we used the jump initially and it did not use, and we did not use in the beginning, a battle ram on the right side to get through those walls because it would have not worked. On this one now, he's going in from the bottom side. He can make this work because he took down all of the buildings in the second attack already behind the walls, which means the deployment area is going to increase. He can snipe the one uh, super dragon, and now we can just use those hog riders for cleanup. Really nicely done. And with that being said, this is exactly how to take down those bases. I hope this video was helpful. As I said, it's not like the new flashy way to take down maze bases. But I just want to give you a quick reminder how to really efficiently take those out. I hope this video was helpful for you and helpful, you may, uh, helpful maybe for you and your teammates. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want to stay up to date with the guides and Clash content overall, make sure to follow this channel. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys back tomorrow with the next video. Until then, and as always, see you and bye-bye.